For the Hurricanes, starting this afternoon at quarterback, it will be Jim Kelly. Kelly having a fine year as the QB of a Miami squad, which has gone four and two, going up against the very tough Penn State defense this afternoon. Nittany Lions with a record of six and zero. Oh. Larry Brodsky in at one wide receiver on the wing. Kelly rolling on play action, and he is hit behind the line of scrimmage and brought down. Well, that time he rolled out, had good uh, lots of time, but everybody was covered. Slot offense with a split backfield. The give off goes to the running back, Smokey Roan, and he is drilled. No score in the football game. Again, Miami with a slot offense and a split backfield. Kelly drops, throws, and it is incomplete. 15, it's fourth and 15. LaBelle boots it away. It's wobbly, and it's going to be a little short. Takes a Miami roll across the midfield stripe. Todd Blackledge brings his team out of the huddle at the top of their eye. Number 25, Kurt Warner, number three rusher in the nation. The give goes to Warner off the right side, and he rips across for a good gain into the Miami territory to the 45-yard line. Coming off a hamstring injury a couple of weeks ago, he sat last week out. Second and three for the Nittany Lions at the 45 of Miami. Blackledge to throw. Throws long. And it is incomplete. It was intended for Greg Garrity. Third and three for the Nittany Lions of Penn State. They're in Miami territory. The ball spotted down at the 45-yard line. I formation once again with a slot to the left side. Blacklitz pitches to Warner. Warner trying to turn the corner here on the near side and does a field and gets the first bat down out of bounds. Just repeat there. Now we're taking a look at, uh, at their lineup right now. Kurt Warner, the tailback from Wyoming, West Virginia. And Kenny Jackson, their flanker, sophomore from South River, New Jersey. Greg Garrity, that's their in Miami territory. Miami with four down linemen, four linebackers, utilizing the 4-4 defense. Man in motion now to the far side, still with the eye formation. And the give goes to meet the fullback straight up the middle, and he is stacked up. Gets credit for the stop. Bill Kuntz, the left tackle for Penn State. Mike Munchak at the left guard from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Jim Romano is the center from Glenhead, New York. Sean Farrell, the right guard, West Hampton Beach, New York, and Dave Loeb, uh, the right tackle from Fairlawn, New Jersey. Mike to Cab, the tight end from Wayne, New Jersey. I formation again for the Nittany Lions with receivers left and right now. Ball spotted down on the 37, second and seven, and Blackledge, number 14 to throw. Throws out in the flat, and he's got his man complete to number 85. Miami defensively looks like this. West, Williams, Chickalo, Nelson, and Flanagan across. Lippett, Boone, Jefferson, and Marion are the deep men, and Brown and Nicholas, third and four, and the ball is spotted down on the 34-yard line for Penn State. High formation again, one receiver split to the left side. Blackledge operating a quarterback. He pitches, the pitch goes to Warner, and he is stacked up behind the line of scrimmage. So it'll be a 52-yard attempt. Well, he's got the wind at his back, and that's gonna help him. Strong wind blowing here at the Orange Bowl. It's been dusting all day. Here we go. It's on the way, and it is going to be short and off to the right side. No good. So the University of Miami takes over. Steve Stewart, the left tackle, offensive left tackle, went down with a knee injury. He is out for the season. His career ended, and they've got Welch in there. Speedy Neal gets the handoff inside and fumbles as he goes to the 36-yard line but they have blown the ball dead. So Speedy Neal being hit by number 41, Steve Sefter for the Penn State Nittany Lions. You're looking at Chris Hobbs, the starting fullback for Miami. Smokey Rowan, the running back, a senior from Miami, Florida. The flanker, Larry Brodsky, a senior from Hialeah. And Mike Rodriguez at the split end. He's a senior from Tallahassee. A quarterback from East Brady, Pennsylvania, junior Jim Kelly. Second and eight, and Kelly drops the throw. And he throws, intended for Belk here on the near side by... Uh, Penn State's number 49, Roger Jackson. Here you're looking at Miami's offensive line, Barbarino, Bailey at the center, a junior from Miami, Florida. Mike Moore, the right guard from Bradenton, Florida. He is his sophomore. Frank Frazier, the right tackle, a senior from Tampa, number 79. And the tight end, Glenn Dennison. Miami splits receivers left and right. Brodsky would be to the top of your screen. A split backfield behind Kelly, who drops the throw on third and eight. Looks and throws, and he's got Rodriguez here on the near side. First time all day. He's now on the 46-yard line of Penn State. High formation. The up back would be Speedy Neal. The pitch goes to Smokey Roan, and he stumbles as he comes to the near side. It'll be second down and call it nine. 
Rich D'Amico, Leo Wisniewski, Dave Ofer are starting for Penn State. Their linebackers in back, Scepter, Pritz, Bradley, Lankford, Jackson, Robinson, and Hamilton. You're looking at junior Jim Kelly from East Brady, PA. 6'3", 215, dropping to pass on second and nine. Dumps a quick one out to Chris Hobbs. Hobbs is across the 40, inside the 35, and out of the 33-yard line. A split backfield behind Jim Kelly. Kelly gives off now to Hobbs, and Hobbs tries it on the right side. And slot offense, and Kelly drops the throw. He's got Dennison inside the 20, and Dennison's inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. And they go with the I formation. Receivers left and right, and now Brodsky comes in motion. The pitch goes to Smokey Roan, cuts inside, and is stacked up at the 11-yard line. Hit for Penn State. The call is against Miami, and it's for holding. First and 18 on the 22-yard line of Penn State for Miami. Here's Kelly's career stats. What a great career he's had here at Miami, too. Rolling in throws on play action deep into the end zone. It's picked off by Penn State, but they say he was out when he picked it off. Second and 18, ball on the 22-yard line for Miami. A split backfield with Rush 49. And Kelly throws, and he's got Rush as Rush steps out of bounds along the near side. Third and 11, ball on the 15-yard line for Miami. Kelly straight up the middle on the quarterback keeper and goes to the 10-yard line again. So it will be a 28-yard attempt for Miller. His foot is into it, and it's in the air. It's got the distance, and it's good. And Miami jumps out front 3-0 on the number one ranked Nittany Lions at Penn State here in the first quarter of play. Two of those misses from 60 yards or more. So Miller comes through again for the Hurricanes. John Williams, number 44, waits for it on the three-yard line. He's at the 5, the 10, the 11, and stacked up there at the 13-yard line. Nine points per game. That'll tell you why they are ranked number one in the nation. Great, great football team. Todd Blackledge now at quarterback with an eye formation. They're at the 14-yard line. Blackledge gives, goes to Warner. Warner turning outside and stacked up by Lester Williams on the far side. Kurt Warner, what a fine athlete. Again, Warner gets the call coming to the far side, and he is swarmed under by Miami's defense. Tim Flanagan, number 90. That hamstring injury really uh, kind of crippled him. Last week he wasn't able to play, but he's back, and he doesn't look like it slowed him up a bit. He didn't get the first down as the Miami defense rose to the occasion. Tremendous over the years. Ralph Giacomaro will kick, averaging just under 44 yards per boot. And you can see why. As he boots one up there, Lawrence Thompson picks it off at the 22. He's at the 25. Hits the corner at the 30. He's at the 35 and across the 40. And brought out of bounds. At first and 10 for the Canes. Jim Kelly with an eye formation. Speedy Neal, the up back 38, dropping the throw as Kelly. He's got the time. And out in the flat, he's got Mike Rodriguez on the near sideline at the 41-yard line. Ball at the 41, first and 10 for the Canes. They're in Nittany Lions territory. Kelly again to throw. He's got Mark Rush coming out of the backfield, and Rush steps out of bounds. Jim Kelly, who is from Penn State country, East Brady, Pennsylvania. Split backfield behind Kelly. The giveoff goes to Chris Hobbs, and Hobbs has got the first down. Kelly's got receivers left and right. Kelly gives off to Smokey Roan off the left side, and Penn State was waiting. They diagnosed that one right. Nittany Lions using two down linemen, four men up front, and dropping the throw is Kelly, and he's going for the end zone deep, and it's going to be a little too far. It was Miami with a 3-0 lead, third and nine, ball on the 25-yard line, a split backfield and a slot offense to the right side for Kelly again to throw. He unloads, and he's got Rodriguez inside the 10, and Rodriguez drops the ball at the six yard line and from the 25 the kick will come from the 32 so it will be a 42 yard attempt by danny miller his foot is into it and it's got the distance and it's good so miami now has a 6-0 lead on penn state here in the early going number one danny miller they here in the early going the first quarter High and deep, and it's going to come to Williams, standing on the 9. He steps across the 10 at the 15. He's upfield at the 20, and across the 20 and out of the 22-yard line. Offensively, a great power. Eye formation for Blackledge now. Their fine young quarterback waiting for the snap. The pitch goes to Warner, and he is straight up the middle and goes across the 25. And he's a, he's a good quarterback. Eye formation once again on second and six at the 26-yard line for Penn State. Man in motion now to the near side. They 
handoff goes to the up back, the fullback, Meade. Third and six now for the Nittany Lions on the 26-yard line. Again with the eye formation is Blackledge Miami with the four down linemen and dropping to throw is Blackledge. And he throws and he's got Warner coming out of the backfield at the 32-yard line. And Warner fights forward to the 35. He's got the first down. Nicholas stunning in the gap. The pitch goes to Warner, and he comes up the middle. He is hit first by Bob Nelson, number 91. The illegal procedure. The ball on the 30-yard line. Blackledge has an eye formation. Receivers left and right. Blackledge drops the throw, throws, and it is cut at the 45-yard line. Again, eye formation with receivers left and right. And Warner the up back in their eye. Blackledge drops the throw. He's got the time and delivers. Got his man. 35-yard line and brought down first and 10 at the 33-yard line of Miami for the Nittany Lions as they drive on the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes up 6-0. Blackledge, it is. Receivers left and right for Todd Blackledge, their quarterback in an eye formation. Meade the up back and the tailback is Warner. The giveoff goes to Warner and Warner is hit by Bob Nelson brought down behind the line. Second and 15, the ball remains on the 39-yard line. Again, the eye formation for Blackledge. Dropping the throw, and he unloads out in the flat, and it is incomplete. In the first quarter, Miami up 6-0. Todd Blackledge at the line, they've got a wing to the left side. Blackledge 14 to throw, and he throws, and he's got his man. Complete and brought down at the 30-yard line. It was All right, we'll be back with the second quarter. A kick is going to come from the 36-yard line, so it'll be a 46-yard attempt. And uh, the holder, number 16, is Terry Rakowski waiting for the snap. Brian Franco, number 10, fine field goal kicker for the Penn State Nittany Lions. Foot is into it, and it's going to be short. Ron, you called it. The wind is a factor. Well, you take a look at it. Two field goals by Danny Miller. And that has been the difference so far. Mark Richt is now in a quarterback for the University of Miami. Number nine, he's a junior from Boca Raton, Florida. Hands off to Chris Hobbs. Hobbs off the right side and across the 40-yard line from the 30 play. Dave Ofar made the hit for Penn State. Rick remains in at quarterback. The split backfield behind him. He's got receivers left and right. And Rick drops back again, flags. And as they Mark Rick waits for the snap with a split backfield behind him and receivers left and right. Rick gives and his give goes to Chris Hobbs who comes around the near side but there were flags on the play again. Ball on the 48 yard line a split backfield now behind Mark Rick. They're in Miami territory and the Canes are up 6-0 with 10-26 to play here in the second quarter. Rick to throw looks and throws and he is incomplete. Had Brodsky along the sideline. And just great concentration. Reminds me of Howard Twilley. All he does well is catch the ball That's all right. the time. Mark Rick dumps that one out to Chris Hobbs. 33. Hobbs across the midfield stripe. He's at the 55, the 40. He could go. He's at the 30. And he's across the 20 inside the 20 to the 17 yard line. Chris Hobbs. A lot of speed on this Penn State team. Much more than in years past. First and 10 for the Canes at the 17 yard line. The pitch to Smokey Roan, who's to the 10 yard line. High formation. The up back is Chris Hobbs, 33. The pitch goes to Roan. And Roan hit and drops the ball at the 18-yard line, but they blew the play dead. A split backfield behind Mark Rick. Receivers left and right, number six at the bottom of the year screen. There is Mike Rodriguez. Rick looks to throw, and it is intercepted by Penn State out in the flat. Intercepted by number 12, and he is racing towards the Miami end zone, Paul Lankford. And he is still on his feet and finally brought down on the far sideline by Chris Hobbs, number 33, who came all the way across to get him. And Langford makes a great interception. And now the Nittany Lions have it deep in Miami territory. The give off goes to Kurt Warner, who is hit and brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Ball remaining at the 30-yard line. Blackledge, the quarterback, with a split backfield, dropping the throw. Being rushed and dumps a quick one out to Warner. Warner's at the 30. He's across the 25, inside the 20. And he's bumped out of bounds on the far sideline. And the Lions are knocking on the door. They've got a wing to the left side in the slot. Receivers left and right. The giveoff goes to Meade. Meade rips right up the middle and fights to the five-yard line before he's brought down. First and goal on the five-yard line. 
Give off goes to Warner, and Warner's inside the five to the four-yard line. Second and goal on the three-yard line. Blackledge, the quarterback, gives it to Meade, and Meade fights, but is brought down. Big play. Blackledge chants the signals. Eye formation, Meade the up back. Warner top of the eye. Warner gets the call, gets the pitch. Drilled behind the line at the five by Nelson, who slices in. 22-yard attempt for Franco. Ball is at the 12-yard line. His foot is into it. It's in the air, and it's no good. Off to the side. No good. Miami's defense has held. Jim Kelly in at quarterback once again for the Canes, replacing Mark Rick. Kelly to throw. He's got time and unloads, and he's got Brodsky at the midfield strike. He's at the 40, the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, and he's in the end zone for the score. 80 yards for Larry Brodsky on a reception. Line of scrimmage to 20. Larry Brodsky's longest reception, and it went for a touchdown, too. And Mark Rush, number 49, at 215 behind him. But he drops the throw. He looks and throws, and he's got Rodriguez for two. Mike Rodriguez, a converted quarterback from Tallahassee, Florida, in the end zone, wide open, as Jim Kelly connects for two. And the Canes are up 14 to nothing here in the Orange Bowl on the number one team in the country. About 143 yards passing, and they've held their opponents on an average of 121 yards rushing, so the Canes are doing it to them. Williams drops down on one knee after taking the deep kick. First and 10, ball at the 20. Blackledge is the quarterback, number 38. The up back is Mike Mead. High formation receivers left and right. The give off goes to Kurt Warner, turning outside, and he is upfield across the 25 at the 26 yard line. Miami digging in. Five man front being used by the Canes. I got two linebackers right in the gaps. The give off goes to Warner once again, and he's stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. He might have re injured that hamstring. That would be a big blow for the Nittany Lions. High formation receivers left and right for Blackledge, third and three on the 27. And they're in their own territory. Blackledge the throw. He delivers in the near flat at the 41 yard line. One of the premier runners in the country. First and 10 for Penn State at the 41. Blackledge is hit and drilled behind the line. And Miami up 14 0. Split backfield now behind Blackledge. The pitch goes to Williams, and Williams turns the corner on the far side and gets good yardage up near the midfield stripe as he picked up a big chunk. Third and two at the 49-yard line for Penn State. The give goes to Williams, and Williams is met at the line and brought down by David Jefferson. And fourth and two at the 49. His kick will come from about the 40, and he gets it up there high and hangs it up. The wind catches it a little bit, but it's going to roll, and uh, let's see. They say that it went into the end zone. First and ten for the Hurricanes at their own 20-yard line. Jim Kelly, the quarterback. Quarterback sneak goes straight up the middle to the 24-yard line. They are sticking to their game plan and getting it done. High formation for Kelly. The give goes to Smokey Roan. He rips up the middle, and he's got the first down as he goes across the 30-yard line. Penn State was looking past there, and uh, Miami fooled him with a couple of runs. Now, Kelly to throw, and he throws long for Rodrigue, and he almost had him at the 25-yard line. Ball remains at the 32. It's second and 10 for the Canes. Split backfield behind Jim Kelly. And the give off goes to Roan, who comes to the near side. He's across the 40 and across the 45 to the 46 yard line. On territory. And there's a split backfield behind Kelly, who now drops the throw. He's got the time, and he's going to go long. He's going for the bomb to Brodsky, and he almost had him at the four-yard line. Oh, not happy along the sidelines. I'm sure he'll have some words to say at the half to his troops. Dropping back as Kelly dumps a quick one out to Roan. Roan's at the 45 and across the midfield stripe and into Penn State territory. Third down situation. They'll probably go for something short. Kelly dropping to throw again, being chased, and throws long for Lawrence Thompson, and there again, just a little bit too far. Standing at the 35-yard line, a high snap, and LaBelle picks it up at the 20 and is going to run with it to the far side and turns up field to the 30 to the 32-yard line. So Greg LaBelle made a good recovery on what it could have been a disastrous. Now they've gone to the split backfield once again, Black Ledge with receivers left and right, and he drops the throw. He's got the time, and he unloads, and it is complete to the 20-yard line. He runs his pattern, turns around, then comes back up to... Uh, to pull it in. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Again, Blackledge looks to throw, throws, 
and he's got his man at the six yard line. First and goal at the six yard line. Blackledge with an eye formation. Now they go to the split backfield behind him. Williams 44 and Meade 38. Meade gets the call. He hit inside the five at the four yard line. Second and goal at the four. Penn State knocking on Miami's door. Eye formation in Blackledge 14 at the line. Blackledge to throw. Looking. Throws for the end zone high. It's going to go out. Third down. High formation. Meade the up back 38. Now they go to the wing. Garrity on the wing to the left side. He comes now in motion to the near side. Blackledge rolling. Looking for somebody on play action. Blackledge may try to run it in. And he is stopped short of the goal line. As the clock runs out. Well. The Hurricanes defense comes through again, and it was Tony Ciccolo throwing his whole body into Blackledge. When Blackledge saw everybody was covered, he didn't want to throw into the crowd. He said, maybe I've got a shot at making it myself. It looked like he was going to get over, and Ciccolo, number 71, came up and stopped him. After a couple of Penn State punts, sandwiched around a Miami punt, we pick up action later in the third quarter. Hurricanes ball, first and 10 at the Penn State 47. And now the rain has let up quite a bit, and we're ready for more play. The Canes have the ball. First and 10 at the 47. Kelly drops the throw and throws long, going for the bomb for Brodsky, and it is incomplete. A flag on the play. And I think they're going to call Brodsky. Well, let's look at it again and see if Brodsky interferes. <laughs> I don't know. Kelly dropping the throw again, looking, being rushed, and then loads it high. He was going for Brodsky over here, but... Brodsky splits left and Belk splits right. Eye formation. Chris Hobbs, 33. The up back, the pitch goes to Mark Rush, the tailback. Three times in a row in the first half. And Jim Kelly at the controls for Miami. Kelly hit behind the line of scrimmage. Walker Lee Ashley. At Gets off a high spiral. Baugh takes it at the 28-yard line, stacked up at the 29. Receivers left and right for the Nittany Lions. Todd Blackledge remaining at quarterback. High formation, and Blackledge dropping the throw. Blackledge throws, and he's got Garrity along the sidelines for the first down in Miami territory at the 48. If it was the last man, if he uh, had not been there, that could have gone all the way. First and 10 at the 48-yard line of Miami for Penn State. The give-off goes to Williams, the tailback. Stacked up at the 46. Todd Blackledge drops the throw. Unloads a quick one. He's got Williams coming out of the backfield. Williams has got the first down inside the 35 and fights down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And here is Rocco. First play of the game. Receivers left and right and an eye formation. The pitch goes to Williams, and Miami diagnosed that fake reverse. You've got Todd Blackledge right in the ball game. Right back in after being shook up on one play, was out for one play, and now he's right back. Receivers left and right, and still the eye, and dropping the throw is Blackledge, but there are 7.59 remaining, third quarter, and the University of Miami support not that much yardage. It's been a, been a clean ball game. Blackledge dropping the throw on second and 17, looking, and he dumps one out to Garrity, incomplete. Third and 17, ball on the 35-yard line, winning to the left side. And a lone setback for Penn State. Blackledge to throw. He throws long, and it is intercepted by Miami. Freddie Marion picks it off. He's up to 25. He's out of bounds along the near sideline at the 30-yard line. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. Split backfield behind Jim Kelly. Kelly's give goes to Hobbs. Hobbs bobbles the football and falls on it. Behind the line of Kelly, number 12, operates at quarterback. A split backfield behind him. Kelly to throw. He's got Brodsky for the first down at the 40, and Brodsky goes forward. At the 45-yard line, 
goes to Chris Hobbs. Hobbs turns the corner here on the near side, up to the midfield stripe, bobbles the football. There's a fight for it, and it's recovered by Penn State. And making the recovery, Mark Robinson, number 32. Blackledge operating a quarterback, first and 10 on the 40-yard line. Blackledge drops the throw, looks and throws, and he's got a man wide open, Williams, and he is out of bounds. Out of bounds. Just done an excellent job. Second and 10, ball remains at the 40. Blackledge gives off. His give off goes to Meade, the fullback, right up the middle on the draw to the 38-yard line. Sophomore quarterback from North Canton, Ohio. Todd Blackledge with an eye formation. Drops again to throw. Dumps a quick one out to Williams at the 35, and Williams is brought down at the 32-yard line. Short. And now here come the Lions up with uh, heavy rainfall, and they're going to go. Fourth and three, and they're going to go for it. And dropping back to throw is Blackledge. Pump fakes and throws, and he's got his man, McCloskey, at the 22-yard line. If you get a call like that, it'd be a half-the-distance uh, call. Put it down on about the 10-yard line, I would. Miami up 14-0, and here again, Penn State knocking on the door. I formation. The pitch goes to Williams. Williams turns the corner and is brought down as he hits the corner. Ball remaining just outside the 10. The Nittany Lions with wide side to the right. Split backfield and Blackledge is going to throw. And he's got his man, but it's at the six-yard line. And third and goal at the six-yard line for Penn State's Nittany Lions. A lone setback and a wing to the right side. Receivers left and right. And Blackledge looks to throw. He's looking for somebody open. Throws high. And it is incomplete. Up there high to break it up. Back there, Terry uh, Rakowski. Here comes the kick. It's up in the air. And it is no good. Off to the left side. <laughs> Off to the left side. So, again, Penn State goes to the well and comes up dry. Second and four for the Nittany Lions with the football resting on the eight-yard line as we begin the fourth quarter. Miami sitting on that 14 to nothing lead. Todd Blackledge, a sophomore quarterback, North Canton, Ohio, operating. And the give off goes to John Williams, the tailback. He's straight up the middle. He's going to be close to a first down. Miami's been able to capitalize uh, on the scoring opportunities with the foot of Danny Miller. Receivers left and right for Penn State. Eye formation. Now they go to the split backfield. Blackledge drops the throw. He dumps a quick one out to Williams, and Williams is hit at the 14-yard line. Fumble on the play, and it looks like Tony Ciccolo was the guy that caused that. A split backfield now behind Jim Kelly. The give-off goes to Mark Rush, and Rush fights for yardage up to the 10-yard line. Split backfield again behind Jim Kelly. The give-off again goes to Rush, and Rush goes forward to the 6-yard line. So this is pivotal. The give-off goes to Robert Speedy Neal, stacked up right at the line. Miller is deadly accurate. LaBelle, number five, will hold, and Danny Miller from Clewiston, Florida, will go for the field goal. His foot is into it, and it's good. Now Miami sitting on a 17 to nothing lead on Penn State. Penn State will take the Miami kickoff and drive to midfield, where it's third and ten. Third and ten, ball on the midfield stripe wing and the wing would be to the right side and again Blackledge drops the throw looks throws and he's got Garrity at the 30 yard line and a good catch by Garrity puts the ball inside the 30 at the 25 eye formation for the Nittany Lions of Penn State Blackledge to throw he's got time and he's got his man inside the 15 yard line Greg Garrity Ball 11 to the left, to the bottom of your screen. Jackson 82 to the top of the screen. Blackledge dropping to throw and dumps one off. And he's got his man right at the line. But there was a flag on the play. But the official signals, touchdown. Receivers left and right in a split backfield behind Todd Blackledge, the quarterback. As the Nittany Lions go for two. Blackledge looks to throw, throws, and it is incomplete. Intended for Baugh, number 11, Kevin Baugh. Brian Franco kicks off for Penn State. It is high and deep and is going to go out of the end zone. The Penn State defense going to be severely tested right now. Miami, of course, wants to play possession football. Jim Kelly hands off to Lorenzo Smokey Rome. Turns the corner of field to the 25 and out of bounds. Wants to play that possession-type football. 
The give goes to Speedy Neal, the big fullback, and he fights forward to Speedy Neal, sophomore fullback, Key West, number 38. Smokey Roan, number 46, a senior from Miami, running back spot. They go to the split backfield again. Roan gets the call and is hit. As he turns the corner, ball pops into the air, and it's picked off by Penn State. And number 12, Paul Langford, was the man that picked it off for Penn State. First and 10, ball on the 26-yard line. Blackledge gives off to Meade, and Meade is hit and brought down. They caused that turnover right there. They're going to be right back in this ballgame if they score. Second and 10, and dropping back to throw is Blackledge, and he throws, and he's got Williams at the 30, the 25. He's inside the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. He's going to go. He's going to score. John Williams races into the end zone. He is a backup to Kurt Warner. Five, nine and a half. Touchdown can win it for him. If they score here and get another touchdown, they can win. A field goal will tie if they get this two-point conversion. Blackledge to throw, looks, and he's got his man in the end zone for the score. Number 82, and that is the flanker, Kenny Jackson. Makes the catch right there to make it. 17 to 14. Miami sitting on a three-point lead over Penn State. Miami was forced to punt on its next possession. It's Penn State's ball at their own 26. What you have, the scenario is this. Three minutes, seven seconds remaining in the football game. The Nittany Lions down by three points. A touchdown to win it. A field goal will tie it. First and ten. Ball at the 26-yard line for Penn State. They're in their own territory. The give off goes to Meade. The fullback rips up the middle. A good gain as he gets to the 37 yard line. Less than three minutes to play. First and 10 for Penn State. Looking to throw as Blackledge. He throws long for Williams and he's got him inside the 30 at the 35 yard line. First and 10 at the 25 yard line for Penn State. Receivers left and right, eye formation. Waiting for the snap is Todd Blackledge. He pitches. Fumble on the play by Williams. Miami is recovered. Tony Chickalo, the nose tackle, number 71. He's not going to let go of that football. That's the game ball with 2.29 to play. What a football game. <laughs> Split backfield behind Kelly. Two tight ends. The give off goes to Mark Rush. And Rush across the 30-yard line. To the second and seven at the 31-yard line. Jim Kelly at the line. Somebody jumped. I'm going to offset. Procedure here. Offsetting penalties. A split backfield behind Jim Kelly. Give off goes to Mark Rush, and he gets to the 39-yard line. Very tough yardage. Waiting for the snap is Kelly. Split backfield behind him. Kelly goes straight up the middle. He's going to be close to the first down, but I don't think he got it. Bell boots it away high. Kevin Baugh, number 11, calls for a fair catch at the 32-yard line. Todd Blackledge, who's played such a fine football game this evening, at the controls. Receivers left and right. Split backfield behind them. Blackledge drops the throw. He's got the time. Dumps a quick one out to Williams at the 36. Williams is hit twice and still gets away. Fights and gets a first down to the 44-yard line. Penn State now with their hurry-up offense. High formation. And Blackledge chants the signals. Blackledge drops the throw. He looks, throws, and it is intercepted by Miami. Intercepted by Miami's number 31, Fred Marion. Right there to make the interception.